Yeah, I'm sure it'll be a popular place for spring break here this coming week. Oh my goodness, it, it most certainly will. And we certainly hope that during this break that those fires slow yeah. down. Yeah, hopefully we'll improve the wildfire threat over the days to come. But yesterday and today, Look at this video from near Ames there in Major County of the second day. This Gosh. fire was rekindled here today and look at the big flames, the smoke. You see how close it is to the livestock. Yeah, and uh, again, those firefighters, volunteer, many of them working hard this weekend and thank you for uh, your efforts and your hard work. And again, even here across the Metro, cigarettes. People, stop throwing your cigarettes out the window on days like this, that is enough to spark. And several of these fires, what the thinking is, they've been caused by cigarettes being thrown out the window. And you can see uh, the dry brush, timber, just a lot of fuel right now until we warm up, see a little bit more moisture and also start to green things up. We have a couple more weeks, two or three more weeks, we get a little bit of rain, everything starts to green up. That fire threat will hopefully start to diminish. But again, we have a lot of energy, fuel in the on the ground, and we've had big fires here near near Chandler, several smaller ones, even down towards Blanchard again here across the metro. One that's about 50% contained here near Mears, near the Medicine Park area, and then a big one that's we told you Highway 54 has been closed down for about over. Uh, 20 miles there north of the Snyder area. We had one near Strong City or north of Strong City that has a lot of these have, you notice the blacks on the IR satellite kind of becoming a little bit more gray and they're starting to fade away. And there's that Ames fire. So again, a lot of active flames across the state here today. And they are calming down a little bit because we're starting to increase the humidity just a tad, but still very windy out there. Wind gusts will be over 30 miles an hour for the overnight. I say a little bit. We went from the single digits and teens now in the upper teens to upper 20s with humidity. That may be enough, especially with and not creating new fires, but the ongoing fires are going to smolder uh, all the way through tomorrow. 52 degrees, clear skies right now. Temperatures into the 50s, nice and mild as we are waiting our next weather system that's coming in from the northwest. That'll increase a south wind here tonight. That'll change to a north wind by the time we hit late afternoon in the evening hours with a chance of showers and thunderstorms, but it looks to be just to the east of Oklahoma City and more towards east and southeast Oklahoma City. Cool north wind on Tuesday and then some great weather Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. But we'll also have to deal with a chance of rain Thursday night into Friday as another weather system zips through. We get in that spring weather pattern a little bit more active here this week with a weather system here tomorrow night. Another one Thursday night and then maybe a bigger one at the end of the nine day period. Strong south winds. Hello, March 20th. Everybody knows that day. It's not only my birthday, but it's also the first day of spring. How about that? And we're going to be talking about a spring storm, southwest flow. This looks promising for widespread showers and thunderstorms here across the state. Maybe some severe weather, but more importantly, moisture. All right, hopefully that comes true here in about nine days. Temperatures here night into the 40s with a south breeze. Increasing clouds here tomorrow as we'll start sunny and then thicken up those clouds. Those winds change to a north wind late afternoon into the evening hours. The temperature is in the middle to upper 60s. Some 70s if we get enough sunshine out towards west southwest. And with the higher humidity values, the wildfire threat will be much lower than the last couple of days. And any chance of strong to severe thunderstorms will be with that crashing front, increasing moisture down towards Ardmore, Durant and Ida Bell late afternoon into the evening hours. And this is how it looks like increasing moisture, maybe some showers, better chance of showers and thunderstorms southeast. And then it moves away and brings in a north wind, maybe some lingering showers in eastern Oklahoma with the spin of low pressure that will kind of keep us cool with a north wind on Tuesday. Chance of rain off towards eastern Oklahoma. And then again, uh, tomorrow night into Tuesday morning, lingering in eastern Oklahoma. So I just about 20% chance here up and down I-35, better rain chances east and southeast. So we, again, good portion of us missed the rain with a north wind. And in case you're wondering about a freeze, our average first, our last freeze is 19 days away and no freezing temperatures in the nine day forecast. Temperatures warm up into the 60s and 70s. Good chance of rain Thursday night into Friday. And again, warmer temperatures over the next nine days.